expensive. Trying to buy a house in Canada right mm. now can feel next to impossible. Oh, it's absolutely crazy. And very aggressive, very fast paced. The government's new plans aim to take some of the competition out by cracking down on house flippers and banning some foreign buyers for two years. I don't think foreign buyers in and of themselves are the dominant you know, buyers in the market. They're not the cause of rising home prices or rapidly rising home prices, but it's still a, a good policy to put forward. Other initiatives aim to help more young people get into the market. The tax-free first home savings account allows first-time home buyers to save $8,000 a year towards a down payment, up to $40,000. Contributions, investment growth and withdrawals are all tax-free, like an RSP and TFSA in one. I think that would help us a lot. All the money you're putting in there, you'll get to keep, which is a good feeling. But saving anything can be a stretch with inflation at a 30-year high. If you're already spending all of your um, checks on uh, rent and food and cost of living already and not having that extra money to put into the tax-free savings account might be an issue. Those who can save may just add more fuel to bidding wars and drive prices even higher. To catch up with demand, the government plans to spend billions of dollars to build more houses, including affordable units, doubling the number of homes built over the next 10 years. But this expert says prices could still keep climbing. Unless we commit explicitly as a society and as a government to restore affordability for all by having home prices stall so earnings can catch up, who knows what portion of that supply will actually come in in reach for what locals earn. And 10 years is a long time to wait. It's such a crazy market that you don't have the luxury of, you know, waiting. Would be good for someone in the future, uh, but not for some, but not for buyers like us who are already in the market. Some experts say the biggest impact on Canada's housing market will be higher interest rates, squeezing buyers' budgets and cooling prices. But that's something the government has no control over. The Bank of Canada is expected to raise rates again next week. Jacqueline Hansen, CBC News, Toronto.